All right, everyone. Welcome to my messy garage slash woodwork like this. Okay, so let's go over some features. Okay. <laughs> Turn on this light right quick. Oh, it is on. Da, da, da. Okay. So, if any of you guys just recently got one. You guys might encounter a problem like this, okay? So, usually you would plug to recharge in this little... It's dirty, I gotta clean this little outlet right here, right? So, in the case, when you plug it in and you turn it on and it doesn't work, then don't worry. If the light's on, it's nothing to fear and like when you take out the plug and you turn it on and it doesn't work but when you plug it in you turn it on it works that just means one thing it's a quick troubleshoot okay i have to go i have to search this so i'll make it easy for you guys just twist this knob off right okay Yeah. Whoo, this is a workout. Because for you, those who will be future owners of this, I'm pretty sure you will encounter this problem. I encountered this problem. Why? Because when I went out to practice right here this is your elevation knob you can elevate it by degrees right so i decided to elevate it a little bit up higher and it stopped working when i got home it will work when i plug it in but it won't charge okay so if you run into that problem you're gonna take this out unscrew this and right there it's a battery okay this is a this is the battery and i'm not gonna pull it all out right now okay i'll pull it out you see that plug right there that plug would be disconnected okay because i'm pretty sure some of you guys will run into that problem eventually so don't freak out if you plug it into charge and it's on when it's charging but when you take it out of the charger and press it on it doesn't work it just means that this right here is loose okay so all you gotta do is unscrew that and just plug it's easy just plug it back in and just push it in that's it okay because uh yes it's gonna happen to quite a few people what happened to me I'm sure it's gonna happen to people because why? You're gonna be elevating this knob right here and it's gonna shake that loose. Okay? This. Balls, balls, balls. 151 of this. Okay? This way you can put your extra racket. This is the uh, instructions. Of how the speed goes, where to position it. Ball pick. Ball hopper. This is the oscillator. Okay. Mm, let's see what else. What else? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And it comes with the remote right here. So you can start it. And also, it charges your phone. And it also has an adapter, so when you're out there, you put it right here, and you can actually film yourself playing, practicing on tennis. It's like how I do it. 
but I actually bought something extra on Amazon. It's like that's the reason why I post videos from the back. It just sticks to the the fence, and that's how it is. But just remember, clean this, okay? God, mine's really dirty right now. I'm about, I'm probably about to clean this. Okay. Yeah. So I feel that it's kind of uh, selfish of me just to post a video of me hitting tennis balls. And it would be unfair if I don't explain what this thing is and how it functions. Because I know uh, some of y'all will get, eventually get it. Hey. <laughs> the person I bumped into it on the tennis course saw my YouTube and he bought one. So, all right. Have a great day. All right. Since I made that educational video, I might as well just keep on going. So I honestly want to ask this question and I want to know how some of you guys feel about this modern tennis. Because I was confused as hell coming back with all these string setups and all that. Back then, all I knew was natural gut and synthetic gut. And that was all this hybrid stuff. And at first, it blew my mind. You know? And uh, I want to know how y'all feel about pickleball. Had I known pickleball was a sport, I think that I would have went that route instead of getting suckered into playing tennis again. Yeah. From what I hear, it's a very fun sport. Um, and for it costs a lot less because I'm already over a thousand dollar deep invested back in the tennis, so I'm stuck for it for a while until I get injured or something. Mm -hmm. So let me know what you guys think. Is it fun enough to, for me to switch, or should I just suck it up and just keep playing tennis? <laughs>